Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here, welcome you back to more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. In the last episode, we watched a very long intro cutscene, then we went straight into the first level of the game. And in this episode, we're gonna take on the second and the third level of the game, okay? So here we go, let's start, let's start by jumping into level 2, Tornado Alley. Now, um, this level is going to be a little bit different than the first one, because you're not going to be on foot this time. You're actually going to be right, uh, kind of flying around an airplane, shooting down these tornado generators. Kind of weird. Yes, yeah, so you hear that voice, and I, which I never really understood fully, because, you know, it's kind of hard to hear it over those weird thumping noises. Like, seriously, what the hell are those thumping noises? Like, I, I could never get that. You know, I played this game for, for the longest time, and I can never figure out what that thumping noise is. It's like, you only hear it in the GameCube version, yet you don't hear it in the PlayStation ver version. So. Why did I say PlayStation version? I have no freaking clue at all. Okay, so here we are. We're flying, kind of just flying around here, um, shooting down bad guys. You got Basically, you just want to avoid the bad guys at all costs, which is kind of hard to do since they kind of just freaking home in on you like this. Like, literally, they, they practically... They might as well be kamikaze because they practically... They literally try to kill themselves. Like, like later in the game, you're going to have, like, similar flying levels like this. And they will literally, like, try to kill themselves just to, just to hurt you. Like, they will literally, literally, like, run straight into you. Like, I know it's kind of weird, but that's what they do, okay? So... I don't know how else to explain, okay? So, anyways, um, before we destroy the last tornado generations, there's really only one left. So, really, this is really, this uh, level's really easy, but obviously, you can't really expect that much since it's the second level of the game. But, um, before we, holy crap, yeah, see, just, just what happened there. They do a pretty decent amount of damage when they actually pull kamikaze on you, but, you know, other than that, this level's actually not that hard. And you may notice that there are different kinds of balloons like different kinds of balloons around here like the there's the ones with with crosses on them basically when you destroy the crate that's whole that's being held up by um the balloon the white balloons with cro red crosses on them basically what will happen is when they when those uh, crates are destroyed they will give you some health which is very very useful especially when there's a bunch of kamikaze flyers here and these are these are just regular crates. They don't do anything. Just so just make sure you destroy all the crates. That way you can get the yep, just like that. Get the white gem. And there you go. Destroy the last tornado, Jerry, and that's it. And then you get the power crystal, and that's it. That's Tornado Alley right there. Yep, pretty cool level. You know, kind of fun, but it doesn't really last that long. So that's why we got got way more enough time for a second level in this in this episode. That's basically what my plan is for this game, so just for now, okay, until we beat the final boss, because there's gonna be more to do after we beat the final boss, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna, like, show it, like, once, and then do the rest of the stuff in the game, or if I'm going to fight the final boss off-screen, and then do all the other stuff I need to do in the LP before showing the final boss in the finale, which, which I think would be a much better idea for, for handling this game, but for the most part, you cannot get everything everything you know you basically cannot get everything until you beat the final boss because there's gonna be a power up that you get after beating the final boss that will make you know one of the, let's just say it'll make one of the objectives of each level a little bit easier after we beat the final boss because something else I may not mention yet is that you do get power ups um, after every boss fight and they usually give you like the the least useful ones first and then the um, and then the more useful ones later. Okay, let's jump into the third level, okay? So here we go, Bamboozle. This one, you're also not gonna be out of foot. Well, you sort of are, but... You want a piece of me, Bandicoot? Huh? Huh? Do ya? Huh? Wuss. Jeez, gotta remember that elemental talks after, after like every two levels. Anyways, um, so you're sort of in on foot, but it's a little different because, well, you're inside a ball. Yeah. 
There's gonna be a few levels like this in the entire game where you're gonna be rolling around inside a ball throughout the level. So that can also be kind of fun, you know? There's there's pretty much a lot of different ways that they that you explore each level, and they pretty much just throw out pretty much each one in the first or in the first like five levels of the game just to kind of get you familiar with it. So I always thought this this was pretty cool right here, just rolling around the ball. You know, something that I, I tend to enjoy myself. Of course, the only downside to this is that, as far as I know, I don't think that you can get an Aku Aku on your side. I mean, not necessarily on your side, but you cannot, like, get help from Aku Aku in, when you're in the ball, at least as far as I know. So you basically have to, you know, avoid taking damage at all costs, because technically one hit, it's basically one hit kill, since you cannot get Aku Aku's help. I could be wrong on this, and you guys can... Correct me in the comments at your own will. And holy crap, we got some nitro crates here. But I'm going to maneuver around them because there's some crates, I think. Unless this is here for just a... Yep, this is here for no reason. I seriously thought there were going to be some crates up here that I need to destroy. Because you still need to get the... You know, you need to get the white gem by destroying all the crates and levels. So, you know, you can ignore the nitro crates because they're just going to kill you anyways. And you can just destroy them, you know, all of them instantly once you reach the end of the level. So there's really no point going for those. But what you really need to do is just destroy the rest of the crates. Because those, you know, those are what you're going to need in order to, in order to get the white gem at the end of the level. Now, there are also the colored gems. But those are the gem but those are one of the things we won't be collecting until after we initially beat the game. So, you know, that's why, that's why, that's what I meant by what... That's what I meant when I said that there will be stuff to do after we beat this game, okay? So essentially, I'll be finding the bo final boss at least once or twice. Depending on which time which time I show it will be kind of decided by me once we get up to that point. Um, so take this elevator up because there's a couple, there's like four crates up there. And I think each of which has a life inside of it, I think. Or some more like two of them because I just jumped up from 19 to 21 lives. So we're doing pretty good. Actually, also, something else I haven't mentioned yet is that if you... I think the game actually saves how many lives you have in addition to your progress, so that's pretty cool also. So you can just keep on building live, uh, lives until you have, like, a huge amount by the end of the game. You know, I actually I actually do kind of like games like that, that actually, you know, save up your, your lives in addition to saving your games, because that's really, really awesome, you know? It prevents you from having to collect more you know, kind of build up lives once again every every time you play the game. So right here, we're, we're already going to reach the Power Crystal, but we still got a little ways to go in the level itself, okay? So don't get too excited yet. We're not completely done yet. Now, um, I think there is actually a Nitro Crate. Yeah, there's a bunch of Nitro Crates here, and you have to, actually, you have to go around them because there's going to be some some uh, crates that you can break kind of hidden away here so you know hope basically it's just kind of trying to make it so that you cannot get the white gem but you know we're we're kind of one step ahead of this game we kind of know where the where those same crates are going to be so we're, we're not going to go from just yet okay oh god oh god i almost fall, fell off by the way if you fall off the the course also instant death right there because Yep, that stuff down there, whatever it is, it's it's bad. Yep, ground is bad in the case of this level. Okay, so it turns out that there was nothing in here. I just went here for nothing. Which is no surprise, you know, knowing me, I, I always tend to do that quite often, you know. That's just the way I am. I guess that's the kind of gamer I am, okay? I just like to do crappy crap like that just to be sure I'm not doing stuff wrong, even though I generally am. All right. So we are taking this elevator up, and now we're going to be going across a, a pretty long, a fairly long bridge, and that will get us to the end of the level once again. But this time, we'll we will have destroyed all the crates. Hopefully, I think. I seriously hope that's all the crates. But anyways, it should get the last of all the nitro crates. Is that it? Yes, it is. All right. So we got the white gem once again. Now keep in mind, it's not. I'm not always going to be able to get the white gem because eventually we're going to get to a level where I'm going to like kind of screw up a little or something and not be able to get the white gem. Like I'm somehow not going to be able to destroy a crate or something, you know. 
So there may, t may be times like that. And if that's the case, you know, we're not going to make a huge deal of it. I can always come back to level in the future, like as I'm collecting the color gems and and the relics and you know just get the white gems as well any any that i miss so you know we can always go back for those okay the, the point is is that for now we're just we're just focusing entirely on the power crystals okay and if possible getting the white gems as well all right so um geez only 10 and a half minutes well shoot maybe i could show something else i don't know you know i could take on another level but i don't think we have enough time for that i seriously don't Maybe five minutes in, is enough. I'm not entirely sure. No, no, no. I didn't want to... Oh, my God. You stupid game. I didn't... I thought I only did that if you walk up to the screen. You, you know, I thought... You, never mind. Never mind. I'm just... Uh, okay. Well... Shoot. Do we really want to have a short episode like this? Well, I guess we got no choice, okay? I, I already established the fact that I'm going to be doing two levels per episode, so... You know, we got the two levels in, so we're going to end things off here, okay? So, sorry about the fairly short video today, guys. Don't worry. Hopefully, the next two levels will take a little bit longer, okay? So, but we'll just see what happens in the next episode, okay? So, thanks for watching episode two. Let's play Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. Sorry, you know, I wasn't really, didn't really do a good job explaining things, especially in the third level. But, we'll hopefully improve things like that in the next episode, okay? <clears throat> so, thanks for watching. I'm Multiclass Gamer signing out. I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on episode take on the fourth and fifth level of the game, okay? See you guys then.